Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from inside a 2021 Toyota Tundra. I have the Crew Cab Limited Edition, uh, Crew Max, Max Crew Cab, Crew Max Cab, whatever it's called, the big one. And I have been told in my comments that my gas mileage could be improved if I turn traction control off. But for other reasons, like if you want to play in the snow or uh, off-roading and you want the, the differential and all that to be turned off, there is a three-step uh, system that you have to do. Now, in a 2021, the reason I'm making this video is they have moved the traction control button from down in this area here where tow haul is to underneath the radio right down here next to the USB and everything. And it's right there. You can see it says traction control off when I press it. Now I'm gonna be using my finger to do that and move the camera back up to the speedometer in the dash area to show you the system, the three-step system that you must do if it does in fact work on the 21 as it shows it does on the earlier models. So I'm going to press the button uh, one time and we're gonna see what lights up. Okay, auto limited slip differential on the left lit up okay that's correct and then they say you press the button again but without releasing it hold it so i'm doing that that went out and now over here we have two more lights uh showing uh the track control off and something else up here is off and then, of course, we still have auto limited slip differential. But there's a third step. So we take our finger, we press the button again, and hold it. Everything goes out, holding it. And now we have bingo. Now it went from automatic uh, limited slip differential to traction control completely off. And these two lights... Uh, traction control off and whatever that one is is also it's the VSD or something like that I think it might even uh, have said something right in here I wasn't looking uh, VCD VSD let's just let's just actually turn it back on first let's see by turning the uh, truck off if it defaults back to the regular okay engine is off now let's just start it up. What's that flashing? Something's like flashing there. Oh, I don't know what that is, but. All right, we started it up. No lights on the dash whatsoever. Uh, just these lights here of some uh, rear collision um, traffic avoidance. If I'm in reverse or something. And let's see here. Nope, nothing else on. So let's begin again. Okay, here we go. One quick push, and we have. Auto limited slip differential off. Nothing else illuminated here. Let's pay attention on the third step if something uh, gives us some information right here. Let me just back out a little bit for you. There we go. Now we can see clearly. And now I'm going to press it a second time. Step two. We're going to press and hold. Everything goes out. And now we have... Yeah. It said right there, VCR turned off, pre-collision. Okay, we see that, right? And now here we go to our third time. Holding, everything goes off. We get the information in the middle again. And traction control is off on the left. Now, 
I'm going to drive this truck like this and find out if my gas mileage goes from 11.4 miles per gallon <laughs> to a lot higher. Uh, that's my city driving, so I know I get more than that on the highway. And I'm getting ready to take a trip uh, pulling a small teardrop trailer. And any gas mileage I can get improved would be uh, welcome. So I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video if this worked. But if you didn't know how you actually turn traction control off, that is a very big secret that nobody knows about, really, about a three-step process to actually get it traction completely off. And then you have these lights over here. So hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you out there on the road. Crush it!